I'm going to show you the basic syntax for writing a function in Solidity. You're going to see some keywords that I have not explained it yet, but don't worry. I'll make another video explaining all of the details. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic syntax for writing a function. So for the first example, we'll write a function that adds two numbers. It's going to take in two inputs and it's going to return the sum. To define a function inside a contract, we start with the keyword function and then the name of the function. We'll name this function add, and it's gonna take in two inputs of type uint. uint, we'll name it x, and the second input, uint, we'll name it y. This function will be external. External means that when we deploy this contract, we'll be able to call this function. I'll make another video explaining what external is in details. The next keyword that you have not seen yet, yet is called peer. Peer means that this function is read-only. It does not write anything to the blockchain. Again, this keyword will be explained in another video as well. This function is going to return the output of the two inputs, x and y. We declare the type of output by saying returns, parentheses. We're going to be adding two uints, so the data type that we're going to be returning is also going to be uint. And this is where we write our code for the function. We add two numbers and return the sum. So we simply say return x plus y semicolon. Let me give you another example of a function. This time we'll subtract two numbers. So we'll say function sub. It's going to take in two inputs of type uint. So we'll say uint x, uint y. The function will be external again meaning that we'll be able to call this function after we deploy the contract. It's going to be peer, meaning that this function will be read-only, and it's going to return a uint, the difference of x and y. And inside the parentheses, we'll say return x minus y. Okay, let's now compile this contract, deploy it, and then I'll call the function add and then sub. To compile the contract, I can click on the Solidity tab and then Compile. But there's also a shortcut when you're inside the editor. You can just press Ctrl S and it will compile the contract. The next step is to deploy the contract and then call the functions. So we'll deploy the contract, scroll down, expand the contract. And for the first example, we'll call the function add. We'll add 1 and 2. We expect the output to be 3 and we get 3. First subtracting, we'll subtract 3 and 1. And we expect 3 minus 1 to be equal to 2. We call sub and we get the output 2.